Hello everybody, welcome back to Beardbox and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. I wanted to say 1.5 remix, but it's final mix, whatever, bullshit, but it's Kingdom Hearts. It's me and Andrea. Hi! And so we just got to this new, unfamiliar town. Well, I know what it is. Shh. I know what it is too, because I've gotten this far the first time I played the game, oh. but... Oh, that thing's so cute! The Moogle? Them too, with the little glowy thing that kind of looks like it's scratching its pit and showing off at the same time. What the fuck? Are it's you a sign. About? It's above that thing. Yeah. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I suppose it's scratching its pit. I thought. Yeah. That they were both up, but I don't know. Ooh. I know what I wanted to say. Looks like it's locked. Mmm. I mean, I got the keyblade. Right. That should be able to. Can it open all things? Uh, I think it's unlocked later that I can. Oh. Who the fuck is texting me right now? Right this very uh, minute. <laughs> oh no! What? what? Texting you or that fell down and lost their heart? Uh, it was PewDiePie game. Oh, okay. PewDiePie did not fall down and lose his heart, don't worry. Well, good. I'm he's, glad. He's still fine. Uh. It's those creatures from the island! Couldn't afford to get that voice actor. Uh. That's like one of the only things I don't like about this game is the fact that like some lines aren't voice acted. Mm hmm Like some I understand because they're just like tutorials or whatever and tutorials that are voice acted are dumb. Yeah. But like shit like that, they could have easily <laughs> recorded. Uh, actually, yeah, I suppose so. I mean like I get it for big name stars like Goofy or Donald maybe. Oh yeah. But like... But they Pretty hired. Sure Sora's voice actor was like 14 at the time. Oh, really? So. That's really cute. Does that mean Sora's also around the. Oh, you missed one. You missed the money. Doesn't look like he's here. Now you can be Donald. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, no one can be Donald. Oh, thank goodness. Just kind of. <laughs> that's, that's how I do Donald. Sounds close enough. And I only missed a heart thing. I don't, I don't need to do that. Okay. Currently closed off. Yeah, I'm realizing the reason they probably didn't have him voice act in that thing was because it was part of the gameplay, and if they had him speak in the gameplay, they would have to have Goofy and Donald speak in the gameplay, and they'd probably cost more. If that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. It's. Yeah. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. I'm gonna kill this everything creature. Should, everything should be fucking voice acted. Mmm. It does make things better. I mean, I'm sure Disney helped fund it, like, a little bit. I would think so. I don't think they'd put their characters in it otherwise. Oh yeah, did you hear how... Uh, oh, actually, after we go in here. It's a gizmo shot. Goodness, bad timing. <laughs> Leon! Ah, I like your goofy voice. Did you hear how this game came to be? Nope. Well, uh, Ooh. Square Enix, one of the guys was looking for, uh, like a new project to work on. Mm-hmm. Or something, something, something. And I guess in Japan, Disney and Square Enix were in the same building for a time. Oh, okay. So I don't remember if it was the game's director or someone high up, mm -hmm. like just happened to run into someone from Disney. Yeah. And literally gave them an elevator pitch, like in the elevator oh. to their job. And the guy was like, huh, I kind of like that idea. Because Square Enix was trying to compete with uh, I believe, I, I forget who it was at the time. It mm -hmm. must have been Mario. It would make sense for them too. Mario and Sonic and all them. Yeah. Like Crash Bandicoot or something. Mm hmm. And they're like, I don't think anyone could stand up to them other than like Disney characters. Like just kind of joking around. And the guy found the Disney guy and he was like, hey, ah. you know what we should do? And the guy was like, yeah, all right, that sounds pretty cool. That is really cool, actually. Yeah. It's funny because you never hear of like, well, rarely ever hear of elevator pitches actually making anything that's as good as Kingdom Hearts is. Yeah. Or as loved. That's really cool. <laughs> like, I'm Aww. surprised when I went to game design, we were told about elevator pitches all the time. Like, why was that never brought up? Yeah, you would think that like, would be a perfect that, example. That would inspire people. Where yeah. Usually it's just like, well, yeah, you, you might get a job. Maybe. You, know, or you might get a friend in the industry who won't give you a job. And it's like, mm. well, then the fuck's the point? <laughs> or it might just be an awkward, like, hi, bye, and never see them again. Like, yeah. But that would make that would make me more apt to try an elevator pitch if that were something I were into. Yeah. That's cool. There are more enemies in there, and I didn't fight them. <laughs> Well, do you have to fight every single one? No, but it's good because it's, it's all experience. That makes sense. Kind of wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. So yeah, you can. Somehow I'll be able to climb it later. Mm. You ever climbed a wobbly ladder, Andrea? 
It's not fun. The only wobbly ladder I climbed was to the roof of my parents' house, with my back facing off of like a four-story drop. <laughs> Four stories from your parents? Well, yeah, because it was on the porch and we're on like a hill, so oh, there yeah. it was like over on a the cliff. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Oh! Sad they are. I forget their names. Oh, the one laying down looks like he's given up. It, it's a she. That's the mother. Oh, is she? Yeah. Ah. Is it. I want to say Topag, but that might be something else. It sounds like a familiar Disney name. I don't know. I, I, for some reason, my mind went to Louis and Topanga, but uh, no, Topanga's fucking Boy Meets World, and Louis is one of Donald Duck's nephews. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Why do you text me right now? Is it right PewDiePie? This moment? No, no, it's just spam garbage. Ah, uh, the best. Alright, so usually all of the puppies will be here, but... 101, Dalmatian, names. Uh, they'll just give you the main two. They're gonna give you all the puppies first, watch. Pongo, that was the guy's name, okay. the male dog's name. Okay, so you were close with Topanga. That, that might be why. Uh, Perdita. Perdita? That's probably not pronounced correctly, but P-E-R-D-I-T-A. That sounds like the right way to pronounce it then. Perdita. Hmm. Sharp. That is a weird name. Or Pongo sounds more of a dog's name than Perdita. Oh, Perdita's pedigree, probably. Some bullshit. Wait, what do you mean? It sounds like a fancy name. Oh, gotcha. And, uh, my dog is better than your dog. Mm. Oh, I got a Dalmatian to come in and take pictures with Santa Claus the other day. They were very cute. Little chubby, but that made them even cuter. <laughs> I, I've heard Dalmatians actually aren't that great dogs. Oh, really? I, I don't know if they're, like, problematic in some way. Huh. I don't want to say vicious, but, like, high energy. And hard, uh, hard weird. I don't know where I heard that, but... Somewhere along my travels. <laughs> I've never dealt with one, like, yeah. at the MSPCA or at the kennel I used to work in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I rarely see them. I've only seen, like, two in my four years working at a pet store. And you, and you think with 101 of them, at least being <laughs> born at one time, there'd be a lot more to hang on to than you see, right? <laughs> You'd think so. You would think, but alas. Mm. We got... Oh, I was gonna say, I'm wondering if they can be tough to handle because they were working dogs, like, back in the day? Well, a lot of dogs were working dogs. Yeah. But have you heard why Dalmatians are, like, the fireman's, like, mascot? Because they can survive fires, yeah. Obviously. No. <laughs> their, their black spots make them immune. <laughs> they boil red hot when they're in danger. <laughs> That's a big key for a tiny chest. Um, but did I ever actually tell you the reason that I learned? Okay. <laughs> So I guess back when there were like brick roads and there weren't really automobiles or there weren't many, it was like carriage or like definitely not modern cars, I guess. Yeah. Um, the dogs would actually be the leaders that would lead you like to the fire. Yeah. And the cars would follow them. Uh, and that's why they're the mascot, or at least that's what I heard. I forget exactly where I heard so it. So they were all like Lassies before Lassie? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. The story always stuck with me. I don't remember when I learned it or where, but... What are you supposed to do to those? I don't remember. Do you have to like shoot magic at them and they go bing, bing? I don't think I shoot magic at them. This is one of the parts where like you kind of gotta visit everywhere first and then it'll randomly spark a cutscene. Oh, okay. When you just happen to run into Donald and Goofy? I don't remember. It's not Donald and Goofy I run into first. They're actually the last two that you run into in this game. Oh. In this town. Interesting. Your cat's Ooh. scattering around everywhere. <laughs> My cat. Is it your cat? My cat. Oh, I thought you said your cat, like, oh, to no. me. I oh, just, no. I just heard it. Oh, okay. A cat. I misheard. I do hear them scuffling around, though. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know, but wherever you are, it's pretty. I like the shininess of it all. You You said I wasn't supposed to know where we are. Well, I said in the beginning. Oh, okay. When we got here, it was like, <laughs> That's what they said. It's just uh, like that. Hey, level up! Woohoo! Your strength went up. I'm guessing like two or three? No, I'm way above that. Oh, really? I think so. Oh. Vacant house with box. Oh, seven. A couple boxes. Yeah, but that one says box right on it. Wow. Box. Impeccable. Mmm. I'm assuming you're supposed to open that lightly colored cabinet at some point? I don't believe so. Huh. 
Why That's weird. Now? It's like why is everyone texting me right now? Like this very minute? <laughs> can you go through that? That bright star-shaped thing? Uh can I be a little more specific? Oh, that, 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 thing. Is, that is not a door now. Oh. That's a shame. I would love to walk through a door like that. Go! Go! So satisfying. Uh, it's just I like watching- Oh, that sound is satisfying, too. What, picking up stuff? Yeah, the blorp, blorp. Oh, the health, yes. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Looks like it's locked. But you have a key. It's just, you can't go down, down that way. I don't know if huh. Where do I go? Aww. What? Just mere frustration. Yeah, adorable. No, it was more like a- I'm not gonna call it pity, aw, but like, I know. <laughs> great, being pitied by my wife. <laughs> great. While playing a children's game. That makes me feel great uh, about myself. Hey, you're doing better than I would. This game would take me forever to complete. This game does take forever to complete. It's not your fault. Uh, it's just how the game is. True. Probably. It just. At some point, there's just a curve where everything gets really difficult, and I'm probably gonna have to take a while just to train. Ooh, yeah. Or grind. Actually. No, that reminds me. Mm hmm I started telling this story, but I you were you started speaking first. Oh, sorry. So I was like, never mind, you say it, and then I forgot about it. So don't say sorry, you spoke first, <laughs> and then I talked over you. Okay. Uh but my first time playing this was at Jim's house, my old friend. Oh uh, yep. And uh I mean I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to <laughs> supposed to put in the workshop. But anyways, uh so we, we played for a while, and the first world you go to is... The first couple worlds you can go to is Alice in Wonderland, Tarzan, and, uh... Hercules? Hercules. Yep. And at Hercules, you have to fight Cerberus. Yes. Which I had to do for you. Yes. Because the fight is, for whatever reason, very, very difficult. That's, like, the first curve. Oh, okay. And I don't know if that was just because we were kids, and the three-headed part made it difficult, and I was impatient. Mm. For whatever reason, me and Jim could never get past that part. Aww. So whenever we played, uh, I was the only one that played. Mm -hmm. Jim said, oh, we should probably train some more. Okay. Like, like go out and go to the same area in Alice in Wonderland and just fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. Uh. And uh, we did that for a long time until eventually we stopped playing. Oh, you never went back? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I picked it up on my own, and I was like, okay, now that Jim's not telling me what the fuck to do, mm. I can fucking finally do this. Did and, you? and then I beat it, no problem. Yay! Because we were, like, way over-leveled by the time I was done. I don't even remember what level we were on, Uh huh. we were definitely way higher than we needed to be. Oh, yeah. It's like me and Pokemon. Yeah, I'm always way over-leveled in Pokemon. <laughs> In this, usually I'm the right-ish level. Okay. You're like that super OP. Yeah, because I like to fight everything I see. Yeah. Like well. Within reason. Sometimes it's just like, no, I'm done. Yeah. Done with you. They're kind of cute, though. But no, they're not. They're evil. But they look like ants. They steal people's uh, souls and hearts, Andrea. Yeah, well, that's, that's definitely not as cute, but... They look cute. If you didn't know that they stole people's hearts and souls. Well, most people probably don't, because they're called Heartless, which is a dumb name for something that is only made up of someone's heart. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that always confused me whenever you tried explaining it before. So, so. Most people who were watching this probably know what a nobody is, so I'll just explain it. Because uh, you were asking about it earlier, and I was like, oh, no spoilers, because uh... that joke is super funny, right? Everyone loves that joke. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the part that always confuses you is the fact that when someone is killed by a Heartless or a nobody, mm -hmm. uh, the darkness in someone's heart becomes a heartless, and the body, which no longer has a soul, is it's an empty shell, becomes the no-body. Mm -hmm. So, the no-bodies are the body, and the heartless are the hearts. Okay. So, someone... Someone somewhere fucked up with that. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it kind of made sense, because, like, oh, dark hearts, that's fine. But then the no-bodies, it's like, I get it. It's not, like, no-body, it's nobody. Uh, but it's just like stupid. Yeah, it feels really backwards. Like thinking about it. It's definitely a ba bass backwards. Uh, I suppose if you know that it's backwards, though, that makes it easier to remember. Yeah. And I mean, at some point, you become so familiar with the heartless 
once the nobodies are introduced, you're like, oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, no. It's... I don't remember. There aren't any shops you haven't visited yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's only Sid. Oh, and there's nothing he could do for you? I don't think so. He didn't say to, like, come back with something? No. Huh. He just said, if you ever need help, come get me. Yes, we need help. <laughs> Where the fuck do we go? <laughs> I need help. Where the fuck am I? Ah. Tell me that, please, and thank you. D d do you want to find out next time on Beardbox? Oh, is it really that late already? It's already been 15 minutes. Yeah, all right. We'll find out next time on Beardbox. I'll, I'll start exploring, and we'll start the, the next episode when I know where we are. Sounds good. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.